now let us discuss about a c program to simulate fcfs disk scheduling algorithm we know that fcfs stands for first come first serve scheduling algorithm fcfs this is a disk scheduling algorithm it's not a process scheduling algorithm fcfs is the simplest disk scheduling algorithm among all the disk scheduling algorithms uh, here the name itself specifies the meaning first come first serve so uh, the first cylinder data will be accessed first followed by the second cylinder data followed by the third cylinder data so last the last cylinder data will be accessed so here the input is a number of request so that request may be track request or cylinder request why because we know what is a hard disk hard disk is a collection of platters again platters are subdivided into tracks set of tracks are nothing but cylinders so here the request may be cylinder request or track request first let us see the program and then we will see with the help of a problem and uh, parallelly we will see the execution also uh, so here in addition to the std ibo we need std lib also std lib stands for standard library uh, here we are using abs function abs stands for absolute abs function is available in std lib dot h what is the use of abs abs will always gives positive value so abs of minus 20 equal to plus 20 equal abs of minus 1 equal to plus 1 abs of minus 72 equal to 72 here we have to calculate the head movements the head movement is always a positive integer so that's why we have to use abs function uh, let us see the program uh, here we need an array rq of 100 rq is an array so totally maximum we can have 100 request so that means 100 tracks data or 100 cylinders data next i for loop repetition n specifies number of request total head movement here our major aim is to calculate the total head movement the initial value of the total head movement is 0 next initial is nothing but head so initially the head is at the initial location so initial is nothing but head next to print of enter the number of request so scan of percentage d comma m percent m next we have to read the request so here we are reading more than one request so that's why we have to use the for loop next we have to read the head position initially the disk arm is at this position initial position now let us see with the help of uh, a problem in the problem only we will discuss this logic uh, so this is the simplest algorithm we require only one for loop for calculating the total number of head movements so let us see the logic now with the help of a problem so this is our uh, problem so here we have n value is 8 uh, so totally we have 8 request from 0 to 7 so these are the request so first request is 98 so that means first track data is 98 next track data is 183 next 37 122 so likewise we have 8 uh, tracks initially the head is at 53 uh, next here uh, uh, we are writing them in some ascending order uh, so initially let us assume that here we have 200 tracks assumes that we have 200 tracks so from 0 to 199 uh, here uh, uh, we are arranging them in ascending order so 0 14 so next 37 53 65 67 98 122 124 next what are the other uh, request here here we have 183 and what is the last one 199 here 0 and 199 are not request they are not request they are nothing but the borders of the cylinder 
so zero is nothing but uh, minimum value of the disk minimum value of the disk whereas 189 is nothing but maximum value of the disk here initially that is the disk is at 53 so if you see here initially the disk is at 53 location here this is fcfs fcfs means first come first serve data so initially we have what is the first request zero what is zero 98 so from 53 to we have to visit 98 request from 53 to 98 we have to calculate this head movement we have to calculate this head movement so in order to calculate the head movement here uh, here we are using this formula so total head movements are so here that's why we are using the abs function we have to subtract we need to subtract minimum value from the maximum value why because uh, total head movements are nothing but it is always a positive value even if you subtract 53 minus 98 so then also it will give positive value only okay so that's why we are using this abs function abs function okay so here uh, so from 53 to we have we are visiting 98 so here total number of head movements are we have to subtract 53 from 98 so always subtract lower value from the upper value why because we are using abs function so it always gives positive value only next if you see the request after 98 we have 183 so from 98 we have to visit 183 from 98 we have to visit 183 so now calculate the total number of head movements so 183 if you see parallel let us see the logic also so for i equal to 0 i less than what is n value 8 i plus plus total head movement equal to <coughs> what is the initial value of the total head movement 0 0 plus abs of rq of 0 what is rq of 0 rq of 0 is 98 so 98 minus initially the read write head is at 53 so 98 minus 53 so 98 minus 53 plus 0 so that is nothing but 98 minus 53 so this is our first iteration next next we have to change the head location previously head is at 53 now we have to point head to the 98 why because from 98 we have to traverse the next cylinder or next track okay so that's why we are writing this statement initial equal to rq of 0 in the first iteration what is i value 0 so now initial value is rq of 0 that is 98 so now the initial is 98 okay so next what we are doing i plus plus i will become 1 so what is 1 here 183 so now abs of rq of 1 what is rq of 1 183 minus now what is the initial now we are previously we are changing the head so now initial points to 98 so that means total head movements are 183 minus 98 so we have to do the corresponding addition and that should be added to the total head movement what is the previous head movement so 98 minus 53 so we'll get some value so we need to add those two okay next initial equal to rq of i in the second iteration what is i value 1 so if you see here from 53 to 98 why because uh, 53 is the current head position next 98 is first request next from 98 to 183 if you see here 98 to 183 98 to 183 next we have to visit from 183 to 37 183 to 37 so next we have to visit from 37 to 122 so 37 to 122 next we have to visit from 120 to 14 so this is 120 to 14 okay uh, let us see the logic for two more requests initial equal to rq of i in the second iteration what is i value 1 so now the head is at 1 so what is rq of 1 183 what is rq of 1 183 so now we are at 183 now we are at 183 next i plus plus i will become 2 so abs of rq of 2 what is rq of 2 37 so 37 minus 37 minus 183 here we are using abs so it always gives positive value so 183 minus 37 so likewise next request is from next we have to traverse from 37 to 37 to after 37 we have 122 so likewise we have to traverse one by one so if we add uh, uh, these uh, additions if we if we perform the subtractions and additions so totally we will get 640 
so totally we require 64 640 cylinders so 640 head movements are needed now let us execute the program let us execute the program so if you see here so this is our program so this is our program so first we have to read number of request uh, next next we have to read the request sequence uh, next we we need to read the head position so this is our logic this is our logic uh, i will share this code in the uh, corresponding first comment so all of you please go through the first comment for the uh, code now let us run the program so run the program enter number of request so eight request next let us uh, enter the data so here what are the cylinders data so the first cylinder data is 98 98 next one is 183 next one is 37 next one is 122 next to 14 next to 124 next to 65 next to 67 next what is the head movement initially the head movement is at 53 53 so now what is the output if you see here total number of head movements are 640 so this is about fcfs disk scheduling algorithm i will share the program code in the first comment i will ping that comment so please go through that